Hello and welcome to NCSS and Publisher Spotlight. I'm excited to share with you stories about journeys. This first one is My Name is Bona, and this is from Salam Reads, which is an imprint of Simon & Schuster. And this is the true story of Bona Alabed, who is a activist. She's still a child, and she grew up in Syria and had to leave. So it's a story of a desperate journey to Turkey for her and her family. And she has done so much in the world. She's talked all over the world about her experiences. Her name means strong. It's, it's, a, it's based on a tree that grows in Syria in her homeland. And the story opens up with her talking to her mother about what her name means. And her, her mother tells her what strong means. It means speaking up and um, exercising your, your body and your brain and being brave. And uh, something that is just kind of heartbreaking that it is heartbreaking, is that children should not have to be strong, not to this degree. And she really challenges people. There is a, a really lovely note from her at the very end. And I think this is a book that really everybody should, um, should own because it's an amazing story. And she is an incredible human being. So next up, we have Escape from Lantana. And this is a story of desperate journeys around the world and throughout history. So each one of the different spreads has a verb, and then the verb has a very specific story of a journey. So it could be um, somebody from Syria is included. It could be somebody from Germany trying to cross over a border. It can be somebody whose island is being covered up by water. So many of them here. And this is just an amazing story and a fairly interesting way to present this information. So this is Escape, One Day We Had to Run from Montana Publishing. Next up, we have Overground Railroad, which is a story that's been out for a little while. This is Overground Railroad by Lisa Klein Ramson and James Ramson. And this is a story that often isn't told. It's about the Great Migration. And yes, we all know about the Underground Railroad, but the Overground Railroad were the people who had to leave, often surreptitiously, to escape from landlords who put them in debt where they couldn't get out by charging them for supplies as they were for sharecropping and things like that. So they would make their way north. And so this is the story of going north. The conceit of the story is that a girl and her parents are going north and she has been given a book by her teacher on um, the life story of uh, Frederick Douglass. So she's reading that as she's traveling north. It's a beautiful story. It's very much um, very realistic in its time and audio. There's a wonderful, wonderful audio book. And the audio book is read by Shanna Small and Dion Graham, who I think is also the director of this. So this is an amazing, um, amazing picture book and made even more special with the audiobook presentation as well. So that's Charles Bridge and Live Oak Media who do Overground Railroad. Next up, I have Starting Over in Sunset Park from Tilbury House. And this is a story about a girl who and her mother who leave Dominican Republic and go to start a new life in Brooklyn. So they get there. She doesn't speak the language. It's, it's that story of, of having to find a way to fit in and not being sure if you really, if it's better than where you left, you know, that whole thing. Um, her mother finds a job. They're able to get their own apartment after sleeping on the, on the floor, you know, in a couch on a relative's, relative's couches. And the illustrations are just incredibly beautiful. And um, one thing I really, really love about this is that one of the co-authors, Jose Peleas, works with immigrants in Brooklyn. So this is very much a story that is based on his own experience. And Bianca Diaz, her her family came from Mexico. And I just love the palette. New York looks almost, met, you know, um, Caribbean with this palette. But she doesn't, you know, neglect all the beautiful snow that can sometimes happen. And I just have to find that one illustration. Just many, but isn't that just gorgeous? There you go. Now you can see it better. This is starting over in Sunset Park from Tilbury House. Next up, oh my goodness, The Welcome Chair by Rosemary Wells, illustrated by Jerry Pinkney. Um, you know Rosemary Wells. She's written so many, so many books that are just really beloved. Um, and this is such an interesting pairing. And it's a beautiful story of a chair that is part of her family history. And she did a lot of research. So the first part of the story is her own family history. And there's a point when she can't find out anything else about the chair in 1918. So she does research and she brings in more stories of immigrants who come over. So you start off with her 
Walker um, family, originally from Bavaria. Uh, you also have Irish. Um, and then later you have the Dominican Republic uh, again in Haiti and, and places like that. But each each place that they visit writes welcome in the language that they were born with, their, their um, native language. So it's just a beautiful story. Illustrations are amazing. Jerry Pinkney did so much research to make this right because he had six different settings over two centuries that he had to research to get this just right. And there's a wonderful author note at the end um, from both Rosemary Wills and an illustrated note from, from Jerry Pinkney about his research and her research, which I think is incredibly fascinating. And I don't know, just an, another, a new book from the late Jerry Pinkney is such a thing to celebrate. So this is by Simon & Schuster, The Welcome Ship. And lastly, let's start, let's talk about the other end of the journey. So this is a story called Agnes's Place. This is a book that originated in Norway. And it's about a girl who lives in a building, uh, an apartment building, and she's the only child there. And she knows the life of that building really, really well. And one day, another girl comes. And, it, and they're both kind of shy. And the thing is, is that they, they don't meet initially. And just knowing there's another child there changes things for her. And it isn't until they meet in the end till they can really become friends. But it's a story about welcoming and about the end of the journey. And I think that's not a bad place to be. So this is Agnes's Place by Marie Larson, illustrations by Jenny Lovely. And this is from Amazon Crossing Kids and translated by Carrie Dixon, because we should always put our translators on the covers of the books. Thanks so much for paying attention, for watching. And please check out our other videos. You've got uh, picture book biographies. We've got so much more to offer. NCSS, a publisher spotlight.